So you know we love to get questions here at Web Video Chefs. And at Yumyucky had a question for us about both affordable lighting and green screen techniques, which I'll answer in this recipe. So at Yumyucky hit me up on Twitter. She asked about some affordable um, lighting techniques as well as some green screen techniques. Now, I haven't really produced any videos on affordable lighting, so I sent her a link to a couple of other YouTube videos, but I figured other people might have some questions as well, so I'll do my best in this video. So first of all, uh, you always wanna use lighting whenever you're uh, producing a video, especially if you're indoors. So I know you can't see it, but I actually have a couple of lights set up. Um, you always should use at least one light if you're shooting indoors. Um, as a key light, which is the main light, and there's some other lights that you can use as well, which I'll get into uh, shortly. But basically, you have to think about this. All right, if you're outside, make sure the sun is illuminating the face of your speaker. Don't shoot at times like at noon when the, um, the sun is the harshest because the sunlight is direct light unless it's a really cloudy day. So you want to shoot when the sun is less harsh, maybe in the, the early evening, later afternoon, uh, maybe in the morning time when the sun is, you know, like six o'clock is that perfect time really because you get that golden hour where the sun is kind of that golden glow. That's really the best time to shoot if you're outdoors. All right. But if you're indoors, like I said, you want to use some sort of artificial light. So, of course, you have the incandescent household lights, which you can use um, oftentimes depending upon where they're positioned, though, it may be kind of inconvenient. So if you're looking for some affordable uh, lighting uh, tips, yum yucky, first of all, a look around the house, see what you may have already available. So when I do my uh, vlogs and using my com um, computer's webcam, I have this light set up, which is just a table light. I will uh, turn, um, turn it this way so that the light can actually um, illuminate my face. All right, and that works really well. Sometimes I'll set up another light on this side so that I get the two light sources coming in. All right, that's one thing that I do. Now, the other suggestion that I have is if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or any of the hardware stores, they sell what's called a clamp light. And it's just a light that uh, has a clamp. So it's real convenient. You can clamp it onto anything. You have to buy the bulb separately. And so you get a bulb. Um, I forget what the wattage is on this one. I think it's like a 75 or 95 watt bulb, something like that. I think it's 75 watts. Sorry about that. All right, and so you get the bulb. And um, I would say get at least two of these. Um, get two bulbs. And then uh, what you can do is you can get like, if you have a tripod, you can use your tripod like this as your light stand and it works really great. Now you wanna use at least one light, I would say possibly two because with professional lighting, what pro pros do is they will use one light is the main light, which is called the key light. A secondary light will be called, it's called the fill light. And what the fill light does is set, set opposite of the key light. So let's say if this is the, the key light, you put the fill light opposite uh, because it'll fill in the shadows because the key light will cast shadows on the face. So you use the fill light to fill in and get rid of the shadows. And then a lot of times what pros will do is they'll put a backlight or a hair light behind the subject. And that really causes some highlights, causes the, the subject to kind of pop and stand out from the background. All right. But um, hopefully that answered questions about the lighting. Now let's talk a little bit about the green screen. All right. So now I'm in front of a green screen. And basically, let me explain first of all what the green screen or chroma key technique is um, so that you understand it. Um, in film and both video production, if you place an image in front of a, a certain color background in editing or in post-production, uh, the editor, and if it's on live TV, you can also do it, uh, but the editor will remove whatever particular tone or color they want to remove and then replace it with another image. So the reason why blue and green are generally used, you might you know have heard of blue screen or green screen, is because those two colors are the furthest or farthest away from skin tones. And you don't want skin tones to be keyed out because if you're keying out a, a, a someone and it's similar to their skin tone, then the person will become transparent. So for example, if we were doing a key and I was wearing this shirt, it probably wouldn't be a good look because then my body will magically disappear and that wouldn't be a good thing. All right, but green screens can be anything. Um, you can paint a wall, um, you can buy construction paper, um, you can use a sheet, you can use muslin cloth, which is what usually professional green screens are. Uh, this is something similar to that. It's a green material that's used for green screen. Uh, usually pure green works the best, all right? So now let me share some techniques when you're shooting uh, a green screen video. Place the subject a, a, a little bit away from the green screen because you're gonna need to light the green screen 
as well as the subject. And when you light the green screen, you want to make sure the light is even. You don't want to have any hot spots. Uh, you don't want any dark areas. You want to watch out for shadows. So depending upon what the material is, you may want to iron it, make sure it's as flat or as wrinkle free as possible because shadows, um, any sort of wrinkles can affect the key because you want that flat green so that when you key it out, it will remove all of the green. That's really important. Um, so make sure you light the green screen, then you light the person separately. And when you light the person or when you light yourself, um, you want to make sure that the light isn't casting any sort of harsh shadows once again on the green screen because again that will affect uh, the quality of the key so i think that you can see in this case i don't have any lights on the green screen because i'm just showing you just because it, we're talking about green screen and i wanted you to see me in front of a green screen but if i was doing a real green screen i'd light up these the green screen behind me then i'd light myself and then you can create some video magic all right so lighting is important if you like i said if, you, if you're looking for lights try the clamp lights you can get pick them up but if i didn't say it already for like uh, 20 bucks um any home improvement store like home depot these work great um you want might want to watch um get indoor lights uh tungsten uh lighting incandescent lights these this particular light is actually a daytime light and outside natural light has a different color temperature than indoor light it's a whole nother recipe, all right? But for now, um, yeah, buy a clamp light, really affordable, use lighting that's in your house. They'll be in good shape. If you want a green screen, you may want to have some hired help, or you may want to have someone at least help you out. Um, give me a call or something. Um, because you, you want to watch out because there are some, uh, you know, if the green screen isn't done right, it can be pixelated. There can be some artifacts in it. Um, it may not look as sharp if you don't do it the right way. And then as far as editing, you can use iMovie. I believe you can even use Windows Movie Maker, uh, uh, ScreenFlow 4, Final Cut Pro, of course, Adobe Premiere, um, the one that all the PC folks use. I'm a Mac guy. Um, Sony Vegas. All those, all those programs will allow you to do the chroma key effect. All right, Amani Channel. You know what it is. It's webvideochefs.com. If you have any questions, ask it with Video Chefs. If this was helpful, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our e-newsletter on our website. You can always ask us a question. You can always shoot us a line because we're here to help. All right. Talk to you soon.